markets. Mm. Dr. Nick, do you think that we're, we're using 2010 as a 30-day cash cow or a catalyst to really push South Africa as a brand and as an international force to be reckoned with? Well, judging from the tussle between match and local accommodation providers who fear that they can charge up to three times more than the match rates, mm. And judging from the reports we're getting from, for example, Cape Town, where certain uh, property agents are charging up to 75,000 a night, clearly there is a tendency to become greedy. Yeah, and in your article, you actually touch on that 75,000 rand a night, which is something like 10 times the normal price. In fact, if you travel to Landatno, mm. to uh, comparable accommodation, to a seafront villa with five bedrooms, you're going to pay at the peak times of the December holidays up to 8,000. Mm. Now, for 2010 to raise it from <laughs> 8,000 to 75,000 is inexplicable. It's daylight robbery. It certainly is daylight robbery, and there's nothing worse than have mm. 2010 visitors come here, enjoy the destination, but feeling they're being ripped off. Mm and spreading that word of mouth back home. But Dr. Nick, don't you think that these, these, maybe these property management companies and, and the property experts are actually shooting themselves in the foot because charging exorbitant amounts like 75,000 rand a night in the current economic recession is, is maybe a death sentence? Well, not only what they're doing is shooting themselves into the foot, but they're also shooting the national brands, the entire country, mm into the collective foot and yeah. that's why government needs to take a very strong and the tourism ministry very strong stance against overcharging mm. and needs to stop these rip-offs.